guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I thought I'd share with you something that I love to watch every time that I'm going on holiday and that is what's in my hand luggage bag. So I thought I'd share with you what I like to take with me uh, while I'm on a plane or while I'm travelling. Um, it's just the basic essentials and also the personal things that I like to take and the decisions that I make when I'm travelling. By the time you're watching this and the day it gets uploaded, I will hopefully already be at the airport and on my way on holiday. Um, I'm going to Portugal with my parents for one week um, during the February half term. So. Uh, if you don't know what that is, that's basically here in the UK we get a half term in February. Um, we get the week off sixth form, well I get it off sixth form. Um, so it's going to be great. Um, it's also going to be my first holiday as an adult, so that's going to be really exciting. I'm going to try and not go on too much about what I'm going to be taking. However, um, if you like watching this kind of video, keep watching, because I know I do, so I thought I'd make one. So, let's get into what I'm taking. So, on the first thing I want to say is the bag I am taking is not technically a bag, it's a suitcase. Um, so, when you're travelling, um, you're allowed your hand luggage bag to be a certain size. My suitcase that I am taking does fit. Um, with like the cabin restrictions as I took it on my previous holiday last year in October when I went to Benidorm. I was hoping that I was going to have a different bag for this trip as I ordered it however it hasn't arrived but you will definitely be able to see that bag very very soon or suitcase um, in a haul that is going to be coming up. But anyway the bag that I'm going to be taking is a suitcase from the IT brand. Um, it's meets the cabin restrictions it's basically just a suitcase uh, four wheels which makes it easy to use a handle that lifts up um, it has one main compartment where most things go and then on the other side um, as you'll be able to see there is also um, four like netted compartments which you can pop other things in like maybe shoes and stuff because I also use this suitcase for trips away so yeah that's what I'm going to be taking with me. Um, I'm also going to be taking this bag. Now, if you can see, it has ears because it is the Mickey Mouse rucksack. This is from Primark. Um, it's been raved about by most Disney fans and I'm so glad that I've got one. You are only supposed to take one piece of hand luggage, however, if I get told that I can only have one, then this will be able to fit into the suitcase because it's not going to be that full. So what I'm going to have in here is basically my purse. Um, I'm going to have my lip balm, my EOS lip balm. Uh, what flavour is this? I can't remember what flavour this is, but it smells amazing. And also, you cannot go wrong with some lip balm or something for your lips because... Especially in the winter, my lips get so dry, and even on on the plane, the air, air compression is just ridiculous. So, having some lip balm, put it on your lips, and that will save me from having dry lips. I'm also going to have my water bottle in there. Now, obviously, b before I can get through security, this is going to be empty. This is just full, because this is what I'm currently using. Um, so, this will be empty, and we'll slot in my bag um, and then hopefully I can fill it up when I'm through security and also it'd be handy while I'm there that I can just have my water bottle with me instead of having like the cup but this would definitely be handy also I'm going to be having these in my Mickey Mouse bag and um, these are my earphones they are the Power Beats 3 by Dr Dre Beats I got these for Christmas these are amazing earphones, they basically slot like this into your ears, they are wireless which means I'm not attached to my phone, um, it means I can sleep in them as well which is great, they're really comfortable because they slot around the ears, um, yeah these are great. Also in here I'm going to have my purse, um, it's not currently here because I've got to transfer all my, all my cards out of 
my purse that I'm going to be taking. So I'm just going to be taking my normal debit card with me so I can use it in the airport if I see something. Um, and I'm going to have some English money in there. I don't have any euros with me because my parents have the euros because I just don't see reason why I need to have euros. I've gave my euros to them and we just sort out all the euros when we're over there. Also in this bag will be my phone which is currently on charge. Um, I have the Google Pixel 2 um, with the black version. Uh, I'm going to download some games on here. And also, I'm going to be taking my iPad, um, my iPad mini. There's games on here which will keep me occupied on the plane. The plane journey is not that long. I think it's about three hours, four hours. Um, I'll probably sleep, but I've got some games. And also, this will keep me occupied maybe when I'm around the pool and stuff like that. Uh, I'm also taking my diary. Um, not for any particular reason other than the fact I've got a lot of work to do, so I want to see if while I'm away I can get through some work. So um, I'm going to keep track of what I need to do in here. And I'm also taking a notepad. This is a, a completely fresh one. Um, so the day after I cat no, the day after I come home from Portugal, I have a university interview. Um, so that means I've got to make sure that I'm all prepped for my interview beforehand. So while I'm away, I need to go over my notes and also check that what I've done is appropriate and correct. So, and also I need to do a few of the preparation things for that interview. So having a notepad will also help. It will also help me make notes about work that I need to do and also help me complete a few assignments that I have outstanding for sixth form. So that's everything that's going to be in my Mickey Mouse bag. Oh and also my passport my dad keeps. It's just easier for them and also easier for me because I likelihood I'd probably lose it so they keep it. So moving on to the next things that I have. Um, I also have a pencil case which I'm going to be taking but yeah moving on from all that I'm going to move on to this little bag here um, so in this bag I have plasters of multiple different sizes I've got a big ones multiple different ones because I'm quite clumsy and I don't want to be left with a cot and not have a plaster also in this bag I have all my medications which I take um, for my arthritis and all my other conditions um, so that they're in there because I like keeping them with me in my hand luggage rather than in my main suitcase just in case my suitcase goes missing and then I also have a pack of cotton buds because you can never go wrong with these um, I use them to tidy up my makeup and multiple other things so these are really handy so I leave them all together uh, and then the next bag is this one which is already set out for security so in here you you basically for security you have to have everything under 100 mil and it has to be in a clear plastic bag and it has to be separate to your suitcase when you go through security so I've already done that which will be really handy and um, the first thing I have in here is deodorant because the last thing I want is to be smelling while I'm in the airport and on the plane because that's not a great great look. I also have my current favourite cream. Um, which is the First Aid Beauty Fab Ultra Repair Cream for dry parched skin. Um, it's for intense hydration. This is amazing for my skin. Um, when I first got this I thought it was going to react with my skin. However this is the one thing that doesn't react with my skin. And currently I'm um, having really bad troubles with my skin. So this is gonna do me handy while I'm in the airport and on the plane. I'm also taking other creams in my main hand luggage but that one is under 100ml and will fit perfectly into this little bag. I also have another little um, tube of cream which is Zero Derm, um, it's by Salcura. Um, this is another like cream that's great for my skin. I also have hand sanitizer, 
because if I'm going to be eating on the plane or in the airport, I want to know my hands are clean and I haven't got to go to the toilet to wash my hands. Um, this is like great hand sanitizer. There isn't a brand because it's from the hospital. Um, I have some Zoella uh, Blissful Mistful spray. It's just body spray that will also refresh me um, before getting the plane afterwards. Uh, quickly, I have some uh, cream that I have on prescription for my skin. Nothing special. Um, I have my tough brush now this is in a, a liquid but it's easy just to leave it in this bag and to go with the toothbrush I have toothpaste because the last thing I want to do is if my suitcase gets lost I want to know that I'm going to have to be I'm going to be able to brush my teeth so this is a must in my hand luggage um two makeup items that I currently have in there I've got two more things to put in are my um, concealer and my eyebrow gel and um, this is my new favorite concealer which is the makeup revolution concealer in c1 i also have it in c2 and 3 so i might put them in or i might put them in my main luggage and i have my um soap and glory archery brow fiber gel which is easy just to put in my brows um, makes a natural look and it's no hassles at all um i'm not putting i won't be wearing a lot of makeup and if I do put I'm more likely will put this on however I might not wear any makeup but if I feel like I just want to cover up some redness on my skin then I will have this on me so yeah that's everything in that bag next in the bag I carry my precious jewelry so that's my Pandora bracelet which is like this and also my other bracelet which is really precious to me because my best friend bought me this and I always wear it on special occasions and take it on holiday with me so I'd be devastated if this got lost. Um, I also have my other pair of Pandora earrings because I've currently got the other pair in and my Pandora princess ring. Um, it would be easy to carry these in my main suitcase however if my suitcase once again was to get lost I would be devastated if these were to go missing so for extra security for me personally I like knowing I've got them on me I have my sunglasses um, Portugal at the moment is currently not that hot however I'm sure it's going to be sunny and I've got brand new sunglasses and um, so as you know I wear glasses um, normal sunglasses I cannot see out of so this is the first holiday that I've got actual prescription sunglasses that I actually like and this is what they look like. Can't wear to wear can't wait to wear these abroad for the first time. So got these, I'm gonna make sure that they get packed because I might not get to be able to use them again till the summer. So having these is gonna be great because for once I can sit in the sun and actually be able to see or read a book. The next few things I have are basically just silly things um so me and my parents on the night we like playing games because generally the entertainment isn't the greatest um so we like taking games with us i currently got packed uh the cluedo card game by i think it's by hasbro i've got um uno dare which is a big favorite in my family and i also have just a normal pack of cards so these will be able to keep us occupied yes we're only away for a week however one night we can play one thing and the other night we can play the other i also have my little what do you call these sleep masks yeah uh i got this this is a zoella um face mask um i've got this at christmas maybe if i can't get to sleep i can just put this over and it might help me get to sleep and it's really really soft so this might help um because the last thing i want to do is get there and be so tired that i just don't want to do anything um so yeah that's everything that i have around me other things that are going to be in my hand luggage are the camera that i'm recording on now um that's going to be coming in um i'm hoping to be doing some sort of vlogging i've never really vlogged before um maybe showing you around the hotel a room tour that sort of thing so i might do that um also chargers so my phone charger 
my um, camera battery charger, I've also got to remember my iPad charger, um, so that's a lot of chargers, as well as my extra SD card um, to make sure that I've got enough storage. Um, I've also got to put in a pillow um, because I can't be dealing with them round the neck pillows. I have to have a special pillow which comes everywhere with me when I travel. Um, it's quite like old and quite scatty so I'm not going to show it on camera however that will be in there and that will come with me. Um, so yeah, I think that is everything that I'm going to be taking in my hand luggage. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'm sorry if it's been, once again, a long video with me waffling on. However, I really enjoy making these videos and I hope you enjoy watching them too. If you're new to the channel, um, don't forget to check out my previous videos and get to know me through watching my videos. Um, I try and upload once a week and I try to make the videos different each week. Don't forget to subscribe to check out all the latest content that's going to be coming out. I've got a lot of video ideas for the next few weeks, so don't forget to subscribe for them. Um, if you have any suggestions of what I could take for my next trip or what you like to take, don't forget to comment them down below. Um, I love making these videos, so no matter how small or big my channel gets, um, I'm having a lot of fun and I really appreciate those who do watch my videos. So, till next time, bye! Hi guys, thank you once again for watching this video and I hope you enjoyed it. It was a lot of fun to film and it also helped me remember to pack a lot of things. Um, don't forget to check out my previous video and my recent video to the side of you now and I'll see you next time.